Hello everyone, this is part 1 of matrices. In this class, we will learn why to read matrices and what are matrices. This is our YouTube channel. Please refer to this to get complete videos of the channel. Matrices are used in mathematics and other fields of science. So let us see what are the applications of matrices. Matrices are used to solve linear equations. In cryptography, to encrypt and decrypt the text message, matrices are used. Robotics and automobiles to give motion to the robots. Transformation of objects from 3D space into another space. To give realistic motion to the objects, matrices are used. In statistics, to represent the collected data population, matrices are used. In economics, to find out gross domestic product, that is to represent goods production efficiently, matrices are used. In physics, to find out circuit parameters like voltage, power, current, and even in quantum mechanics, we will use matrices. In geology, for seismic surveys and to represent graphs, matrices are useful. So like this, matrices has wide variety of applications in different fields. So now let us understand what are matrices. Matrix is a singular form of matrices. Arrangement of numbers, symbols or any mathematical expression, horizontal and vertical lines enclosed by brackets is called a matrix. Let us consider one simple example. Say numbers are represented 3, 6, 9. These numbers are enclosed by bracket so it is called a matrix. The matrix are represented with the alphabets. Here the horizontal lines are called rows and vertical lines are called columns. If you look at this matrix here we have one row and three vertical columns right three vertical lines which are called columns if these horizontal and vertical lines are represented then it is called order of the matrix even we can say that this is also a matrix where we have where we have mathematical expressions cos theta sin theta and cosecant theta this is also a matrix or any mathematical expression x square plus x 3x plus y and 4x plus z all these are examples for matrices. Now let us see what is the order of a matrix. Order of a matrix is defined as a matrix having m rows and n columns is called a matrix of order m by n. Say for example we have a matrix A and it is represented as 1, 2, 3, 4. If you look at here how many horizontal lines we have in this. So this is one horizontal line and this is one more horizontal line, two horizontal lines and this is one vertical line and this is one more vertical line. That means two vertical lines, two horizontal rows, two rows and two columns. Then the order of the matrix is represented by two by two. That is it represents first let number represents number of rows and second number represents number of columns. So which is represented by matrix A 2 by 2. This is called order of the matrix. So order represents how many rows and how many columns a matrix has. I hope that applications and the definition of matrix is clear for you. Next session we will discuss different types of matrices. Please subscribe to our channel for latest updates. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.